They did a fantastic job as, as brand ambassadors for Bangladesh and reminded, I think, people in the UK that there is so much that Bangladesh is good at and can be good at. Um, so there's a very strong platform to build on. Um, but I think it's also, if you're thinking about your brand, it's also necessary to be honest about some of the branding challenges that you have. So why, what are the reasons why Bangladesh doesn't achieve more recognition for its extraordinary achievements and extraordinary potential? And particularly I'm thinking about business, because part of my job here is to try to get more British businesses to come and invest here in Bangladesh. We are already the second largest international investor here, but again there is potential for British business to do so much more. And I spend a lot of time, particularly when I'm back in London, talking to businesses uh, about why they aren't uh, taking this market more seriously than they are already. And what they say to me, the first thing they mention is that Bangladesh is at 176 on the ease of doing business uh, register that the World Bank publishes. And that's a constant challenge to trying to get businesses. If you Google Bangladesh business, the first thing you will find is that 176, which is a real problem, I think, for those of us who are trying to brand and promote Bangladesh uh, on the world stage. Uh, people often mention infrastructure. There's fantastic work going on uh, all over the city, all over the country. The Padma Bridge has been mentioned, the amazing work that's going on to transform Dhaka's urban infrastructure. But at the moment, uh, there are some issues uh, with infrastructure, and it would be crazy to ignore them. Um, and there's a wider problem with the perception of corruption. Uh, Transparency International has Bangladesh at 149 out of 180 countries, and that's really not a place where a lot of international inventors, investors want uh, to put their money. So I think when you're looking at how you're going to challenge the brand, I think it's really important if you're trying to build a brand that you make sure that the slogans that you have are matched by the substance. And it seems to me that if you're in a competitive world, there is no substitute for making your facts. Uh, the facts will sell themselves. And it seems to me there is very good work being done in all sorts of areas to try to improve standards of governance, there's a very welcome crackdown on corruption which we've noticed in the last month and I hope is only the beginning of a much more serious effort to address some of this. Um, because I think if you can get the facts right, then the brand will begin to sell itself. The fact is that even the most innovative marketing people aren't alchemists. Uh, they can only produce, uh, they can only produce, uh, they can only produce style of the substance that they're given. And I think for Bangladesh that means filling this institutional gap and coming up, producing, working together on institutions uh, that work. We, with our development program, are doing a lot of work to try and uh, improve this, but I think more than anything, this is something which the people of Bangladesh, the government of Bangladesh, the political parties, uh, the think tanks, groups like this, need to address together. Because I'm quite certain that if you do, uh, you will achieve extraordinary success. You will unleash the potential that this fantastic country has. You will grow even more uh, solidly as you go from being a less developed to a middle-income country. Uh, and the amazing things that Bangladesh can do uh, will become real. And that will be the best way of all of branding this amazing country. Branding is everything nowadays. And uh, the experience, at least, of Brazil as a developing country, if you don't do your branding well done and quick enough, you face the risk of, get, of getting tagged. And to be tagged is never a positive way. It's always negative. So it's very important that uh, the whole country, the economic, political, social, get together and make a good project. And this is something that uh, since I arrived here in Bangladesh two years ago, is doing in a very wonderful manner, especially because of the leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. She has been doing and taking the excellent decisions and uh, the government that she is conducting has been doing a good work in this sense. Uh, Bangladesh, let's say, some few decades ago, uh, was as it was mentioned here. It was never, like I saw my dear friend Renshi mention, uh, was never mentioned in press or international public opinion in a positive way, just like my country. <laughs> but nowadays, the, what the foreign policy that Bangladesh has been implementing the presence is uh, occupying 
in uh, international affairs. The, the work, for instance, that it has been doing with uh, peace operation all over the world, in Africa, all continents, and also being present in, at the UN, uh, every international organization. This has been promoting a lot Bangladesh, and with a great success of the last two, three decades, growing at seven, eight percent a year, and those such a fast and deep uh, transformations in its economy, it's really putting Bangladesh in, uh, in, in a good standing internationally. And this is part of the branding. Cool to be here and uh, I'm very excited to learn a little bit more about Bangladesh's branding opportunities going forward. We have a very important relationship here. Um, and we look forward to improving it as much as we can.